Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 20th of 2024 is titled Supermoon Beyond the Temple of Poseidon. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the full moon known as the supermoon. And what we call the supermoon isn't really anything that special, but it is the full moon that occurs closest to perigee. Now, perigee is the position in moon's orbit when it is closest to Earth. So it's a little bit closer than it otherwise would be. And yes, that makes it seem a little bit larger. But if you just go out there and look at it, you're probably not going to notice a significant difference in it. Now, if you can put the two moons side by side, as we've occasionally seen, you can see that there is a big difference in how large the moon appears at perigee as compared to apogee, which is when it's at its farthest point from Earth. Now, what we see here is the moon rising up beyond the temple there in the foreground. And we can see the various structures on the moon, which include the Maria. The darker regions are the Maria. The lighter colored regions are the highlands. The Maria are younger lava plains that formed about three to three and a half billion years ago. The lighter colored highlands are the older regions going back four, four and a half billion years to the origin of the moon itself. Now, as we see the coloring there, you notice that the coloring is kind of a yellowish color. Now, that's what the moon looks like when it's low in the sky. And it will look a little more yellowish orange or even red if it's very close to the horizon because it is being affected by Earth's atmosphere. When you look low in the sky, you're looking through lots and lots of atmosphere, and that affects the coloring of things. The same reason the sun looks very red when it's getting close to setting, because there's more atmosphere, and the more atmosphere there is, the more the shorter wavelengths, the blues and the greens, are scattered out of the area. So we don't see those, and that makes the moon look a slightly redder color than it normally would. Now, this is actually what we would call a blue moon. And what we call a blue moon is the third of four full moons in a season. So during the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, you normally would have one, you would have three full moons in each of those. Every once in a while, the timing works out so that you get a fourth full moon, and that the third of those four is then called the blue moon. So you'd have the first two full, two full moons of the season, you'd have the blue moon, and then about a month from now, you'd have the final full moon of summer. Now, there are several definitions of blue moon. This is the traditional astronomical definition. More popularly, it is often called the second blue moon within a single month. So you can sometimes, because of the timing of the lunar phases, have two full moons in a month, one at the very beginning of the month and one at the very end. And that's because the cycle of lunar phases is about a little less than 30 days. And of course, months run typically, except for February, 30 or 31 days. So if you have a full moon at the very start of the month, then you can have one at the very end as well. So that was our picture of the day for August 20th of 2024. It was titled Supermoon Beyond the Temple of Poseidon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be high energy sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.